Hello fellow potatoes, I'm Potato Smarts, welcome back to another video. If you've been keeping up with my channel, you might have noticed that I have not posted in six months. Now this is simply because I did not have a setup, because I moved houses twice, but we are all good now. We have a computer, and it functions, so now we can talk all about this new housing update. Now this happened like yesterday, so the odds that I log on right after this update are very small but it somehow happened. Anyway, the first feature of this new update is that you can have multiple houses. So we have this house right here, which is the house that I made a while ago. And what you can do is there's actually a housing lobby now, and I'm gonna go more into this later. But right now we're gonna look at my houses. So if you have VIP+, plus, then you get three different housing slots. So I have this one, which is my main one, and then I can go into a different one. And what's really cool is when people join with this one, they will not have the same ranks as the other house. So everyone comes in here a guest when I first create it. And this is completely separate. I don't even need to reset. And the people that were on my old house are just are just still chilling there without me on there now more on the housing lobby we have weekly leaderboards for cookies that's the only thing we have right now but we have leaderboards we obviously have some new furniture as well and hikea which is basically showcasing all the different things you can buy with with real money and some free things as well and with this update of course we have new themes now, I'm not sure how much mystery dust I have, but I'm trying I'm going to try and get as many as I can to show you guys. Okay, I have 3000 mystery dust, so I'll get all the rest of the themes. So in the collection of new themes, we have Year of the Rat theme, which I can't buy cuz it's can only be purchased during Lunar New Year. So we've got the Farmland theme, which I actually I actually kind of like this. This this is pretty cool. Basically just surrounding in farmland, you have kind of an off-center spawn. Pretty nice. Our next edition, we have Vineyard theme, which is actually pretty huge. Kind of a center spawn. We've just got vines growing, and that's pretty much the whole theme right there. All surrounding some nice big boulders. On top of that, we have got the Venice theme. Now this is my new favorite. Just first impressions, just looking at it, this is amazing. We've got detailed houses on water. You start in this canoe or whatever these little things called the the boats that go through the grand canal i don't know anyway this looks fantastic even just for this house like i, I might keep this theme for this house <laughs> as for our next theme we have the opera theme doesn't leave much space but it looks like it goes all the way back and you have this massive seating area okay now this is cool and your house is kind of on stage. We've also got the neighborhood theme, which is like a nice little city. We got cars going around, we got gas stations, we got townhouses. This looks really nice. It's just like a cute little town around your house. On top of that, we've got our first legendary theme that is new, courtyard theme, where we've got this absolutely massive, <laughs> look at the scale of this thing. I mean, there's not much room for your plot down there, but you just have a massive spire in the back. The builders of Hypixel amaze me sometimes. And for our second legendary theme, we have the Cursed Cove theme. Okay, that still hasn't <laughs> unloaded, but this is a nice looking harbor here. You've got the palm trees, we've got a pirate looking village, shops and things. Yeah, this is a nice theme right here. Solid if you're going for a pirate kind of vibe. As for other things, we have got over 13 new furniture pieces. I'm not gonna show them on here because you can just check them out in the lobby. And they have added a ton of other changes, including settings for PVP like double jump, fall damage, suffocation, hunger, kill or death messages, all of these settings right here. So if you have a PVP house, <laughs> now you have all the features. They also added some PVP items like the ender pearl and the gapple, sorry, the enchanted golden apple and food items along with the others. As well as, blocks do not instantly break when you're holding a sword or an axe. <laughs> and it does not stop there. There are so many other amazing additions. We have got barrier blocks. If you don't know what these are, they are just invisible blocks. We have a slash save. I don't know, that doesn't do much. We can, we've always been able to save our house. Now we just, now we can just do it manually. But a big thing, you can visit people's houses even when they're offline. So you can do slash visit potato smarts and you can visit any of my houses whether they're active or not or whether I'm online or not which is absolutely insane and the fact that I'm in a house does not change its ability to appear on the 
main housing page. Your houses now have a house icon that you can change if you have like a rank. Another big thing, you can set spawn. If I want to set spawn over here on this island, I can do that. Okay, well I guess not all the way on the island. But now whenever people join, they just spawn right there and they're like, what the heck? What am I doing here? You, you can put it anywhere in your house and within the bounds of your house. Which is amazing for escapes and other other forms of housing. You have to be VIP to use that though. You can also ban players that aren't currently in your house. MVP++ now gives 6 cookies per stack. And you get guild experience for playing housing. Which is f amazing. Like I just got 524 guild experience from playing housing. I mean my guild's kinda dead. But I don't know, it might, I might revive it one day and that'll be useful. So more feature this update, you can now teleport players to certain coordinates or teleport yourself to certain coordinates as well as teleport players to you. So that is like a completely working command now. And another big thing, we now have teleport pads. And I have yet to try one. So you can set different destinations. You can re rename it, change its color. I'm gonna try to get this to work right now. So this will, I think, warp you to yellow, hopefully. And it does work. Okay, so if you can step on there, and you can put multiple of these in your house. This is, it just worked. There it goes. That's, that's insane. <laughs> Imagine how much you could do with this. I actually, I actually am so inspired. I wanna do so many things with this. And on top of that, it was just some other bug fixes. And that is the housing update explained in a couple minutes. Actually, I don't know how long I've been. Imagine this is a 10 minute video. That would be, that would be bad. But it'd also be good, cause ad revenue. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm gonna do some streams because I'm quarantined for coronavirus right now, so uh, yay me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash like button, because I need likes, because no one's gonna watch it, because I've been dead for six months or so. So please help me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that, because we're gonna have a lot more housing content coming out soon, and more streams as well. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.